day two. Day two, Bleach Show, Texas. Huh? The last day. I'm exhausted. Kara's exhausted. I'm exhausted. But uh, we're going to walk back to the show. Wait, hello? This is very bright. I... So we're going to walk back to the show. Do it all over again, baby. I think I blew all my money day one, so uh, no toys for me today. Kara I might get something. Did it. Kara didn't spend any money yesterday. She was very well behaved. Uh, I was not. So, you know, paying for the sins of yesterday. But, uh, yeah, should be a good day. Uh, got a few more booths to film. Uh, a lot of the smaller tables. But we're going to head out. So, we'll see you at the show. Yeah. We found... Cheek from Bearded Gear. We found Love Concepts and this sick shipwrecked RWB, which is so clean. This handle finish is unreal. Still early, just got to the show. Nuts. Get you a better look. Had the camera turned down. Look at this shipwreck handle finish. I love this knife. Rayot made. Compound ground, clip point bowie, absolutely insane. Milling on the handle, hidden hardware on the clip. Absolutely insane. Detent's so good on this thing. Ergos are money. Love the RWB. These are in stock pretty much everywhere right now. Great noises. Tons of versions. Love. So we had to come by something obscene, obscene booth here at Blade Show, Texas, because I needed to handle the Nimli, which is just the, <laughs> the folding pirate sword is the best way to describe this absolute monstrosity. Wacky kind of reverse compound ground, simtar cleaver thing, the lightning bolt way out at the tip, crazy jimped titanium backspacer, just an outrageous. <laughs> can you flick it with this? Whoa, so close. A little bit of wrist, you totally can. Oh yeah, buttery smooth, action's insane. <laughs> oh, it makes me giggle. Just, can I like middle finger? Whoop, there you go. Oh, okay, so we have, ah, all right, okay. So we have options where the lightning bolt is closer to the pivot. Oh yeah, love this colorway, this crazy copper infused shred carbon fiber, whatever's going on here. Absolutely nuts. You guys know I love my lek and the J-Cape and all that stuff. But yeah, the uh, the Nimli is, is absurd. It feels great in the hand, really nice jimping, big choil, easy pinch grip on this one. Yeah, okay. Pictures don't do it justice. Just uh, take, you gotta take my word for it. Maybe video will do it a little better justice than the pictures. Ridiculous, something obscene, always obscene, love it. I did. First off, look at the mustache on this guy. Incredible. We made it to the Hogue booth finally, and we've got the two Mistos in hand. Magna Cut, titanium scale. Are they just full titanium? Yes, they are. They're full tie. A full tie build. The axis lock that we love, the crossbar lock that we love from the DECA. Yeah, thin, beautiful. This wild kind of swirly pattern milled into the handles. The action on these is nuts. Just absolute drop shut guillotine detent is nice the spring tension is perfect we have that nice tonto with the red a little splash of color on the backspacers as well very nice deep carry clip love you get a decent amount of grip and texture from this swirly pattern as well so it feels really nice in the hand yeah oh yeah very nice and these are what just over 300 bucks 329 is uh, 330 on the yeah 330 350 on the that's right. All American made with love. Yeah, same story here with the drop point virgin. Nice wedge. Tall flat grind. And uh, do we know what we're running the Magna Cut at? It's a decent, yeah, it's a decent heat treat. 60, 163. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Same story here. Yeah. Yeah, these are excellent. Um, you guys have been bugging me about them forever. So there you go. I finally got to handle the Misto, and I'm genuinely impressed. You're welcome. You can leave me alone now. We're at Wee, Civivi. Or very early, our sweet boy Kyle's here to help us. Look, nobody's here. They, don't, they still have the tarps on, dude. Early access, and they have an absolute fart load of new new pieces. I'm awake. I'm awake. Hey, wake, wake up. up. Wake up, Paul. Time to wake up, dude. 
make it stop. Anyway, new arrivals. Let's start with, we have the Wheeze. We got Wheeze. We got Wheeze. Small Wheeze. section of weed. So we'll start pulling it Oh, that Warney's calling my name, right dude. Here. Okay, so, as we go those right there. Oh, good God. So first off, what do we got? The Swift Fin? Yes. Swift Fin, in-house design. We'll be rocking the 20CV blade. That hand rub satin finish, titanium, and some really sweet color options. It's got that kind of brown blue <laughs> one on there. Yeah, yeah. Super big blade, so yeah, it drops right All in. the holes. A little oh. micro milling in the so end. You know, to be more aerodynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The speed things. holes, dude. Big poon on her. We got a big poon on this one. Nestle in. Nice finger choil. Ergos feel nice. Super lightweight. Like, it's not a small knife, but. No, it is a All that small. milling and drilling, man, really brought the weight down. Crazy. Okay, the Swift Fin. First and foremost. And then we have this absolute gorgeous. Audit. The uh, Otter. The Otter? Yeah. The Ator? The Ator. Ah, yes. Ah, the Ator, of course. So Beautiful. Integral, <laughs> big pocket clip designed by Dally, uh, Dally Board. Yeah. Bergen. Makes a lot of custom knives. Jesus Christ. That lightning anno is insane. I'm too greasy for knives like this. Oh, my God. The action's crazy. Oh, yeah. So we have studs and a flicking hole in this one. So you got options. Super slippery, man. Like that high polish handle finish. I'm also, like I said, extra greasy this morning. I'm sweating out dinner from last night. It is what it is. Beautiful, kind of like a Tonto drop point situation going on here. You do have that double grind. Beautiful. That's nuts. I hope the camera is doing this justice. Lord Jehovah. The action's horrifying on this. <laughs> Beautiful. So Full tie cool. integral, man. That's sick. And the price point under 400, 366. And that's for the Lightning Anno one. Jesus. Killer price point on this. All right. Okay. We Civivi getting wild in 2024. And then we have this thing that I saw earlier. Look at that warning, man. The Falcaria. Good God. So yeah, this is right up. Tor Torbay knives. Right up my alley on this one. <laughs> really fun uh, carbon fiber insert right there, right? Oh, it's yeah. Like it's, I don't know if I want to call it like a sub frame lock, just because it is covering some of your frame Yeah, lock. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like partially it's, covered frame lock. Partially covered frame lock. So it's really fun how that kind of works. And it's the same side. It's the same on both sides. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Also, not a small knife. That is a big, big boy. Big boy. Again, big finger choil. Love that. That is right up my alley. Pinch grip on this one? Oh, yeah, all day. All day with the pinch grip on the, uh, what is this, the Falcaria? Ooh, okay. All right. All right, we in Civive. Then we have this little guy. Look at that guy. What is this? This is a Dutch bushcraft design. No kidding. The the YouTube boys? Yes. DBK? DBK? DBK, getting into the folder game. Interesting. So because they're, there's no, like, yep. obvious just, opening method. It's just, just the, the, the crossbar. you just give her the little flick of the wrist. It works really nice. Have you guys done crossbar locks before That's this year? This is the first one. No kidding. Beautiful, simple, clean, like no nonsense EDC. Nice tall flat grind. You do have the nail nick too if you want to, you know, old grandpa slow roller out if you want to get frisky. But it's super smooth on bearings. Like the size a lot. Deep carry clip. Very nice. DBK getting into the folder game. All right, okay. Now we're moving on we to got Savives. The blue tick. Based on Keenison design? Keenison, nice. Yes, dude, these three collabs I am, like, most excited about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's ridiculous. The hollow grind on this is nuts. Rocking a 14 cd 28 end blades. Love. Still. Liner G10 lock, G10, liner G10 lock, yep. Deep carry clip, G10 backspacer. Don't look at it. Okay, uh, 50, 60, 50. Yeah, 53 bucks. 53 bones, baby. For all budgets. For all budgets. Hell, yeah. Good size, too. Nice thin handle, aggressive jimping going on, huge choil. Again, pinch grip on this one. Oh, you bet your tits. You bet your tits, pal. Beautiful. Love. Action again. Amazing. Great access to the liner as well. Nice. Okay. All right. Brian Brown? Yes, sir. This is the one everybody's been kind of, you know, losing it over. Me included. What is this called? The X1. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful, hollow ground, warny, murdered out, G10, stainless liners. What is this, uh, Nitro-V on this one? I'm loving all the hollow grinds, man. They look good. Yep, 
Yep, yep, yep. That is so my speed. Great size for EDC. Choke back feels good. Again, forward finger choil, lovely. Pinch grip, you bet. You bet your tits once again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be taking one of those whenever those are available. Any idea? When are these going to be available? So most of these will be, I want to say within the next six months or so. Not for sale now, right? Yep. Damn it. So these Damn it. Just, you know, <laughs> up in, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> get, dude, I get it. And then we have, this is the collab with Matthew, uh, uh, Wear Knives. Yep. Wear Knives. So I just did the review on the Alley P. Very similar kind of bro, uh, blade profile to the Alley P, which I love. Again, this is a flat ground, right? Flat grind. Flat grind. Yep. Beautiful belt satin on this. Micarta. Stainless flipper. flipper. We got we got fidgety options. The detent on all these are great. And the acoustics, I don't know if you guys can hear them. They all sound great. Incredible. Yeah, this one's right up my alley too. Just my style. Choke up, feels nice. Again, pinch grip on all three of these has been cash money. So extra bonus points to Wee and Civivi for great pinch grip ability. That one's got a, is that a titanium clip? Yes, sir. Nice. All right, okay. Very nice. Well, what is this called? The, the, the nug, nugs. the nugs, <laughs> the Civivi nugs. nugs. Wear nice. Very sick. Very sick. More Civives. Yeah, oh, Lord G, Lordy, Lordy. In house designs. All in house. First off, big, big boy. Big, the Jesus. Oh. Your guys' naming scheme's getting outrageous. Tech, 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 Tacticorix? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna roll with that. Nitro VG10, big papa. Is this a hollow grind as well? Oh yeah. Hollow grind, flipper, great detent. It's an Eevee. They die, you know, they don't they don't miss on the action and the build quality. Ooh. Yeah, but that was definitely for some bigger pods. That's for you that's know? deeper that's for the, pockets. That's for the ham hands. Yeah, oh yeah, the ham hawks. Yeah, I don't have those. But it still feels nice. It's still really thin. Again, deep uh, stamp deep carry clip. Feels good. That action's nuts. Yoink killer great noises nitro v 65 bones we got a little pea shooter a little pea shooter warney carabiner no name the nameless knife the nameless the carabiner knife the the, the carabiner knife. No, yeah, don't say we're gonna it. run <laughs> we're gonna roll with carabiner knife. little tiny little button lock dude it's so adorable look at it all the speed holes in the known universe full flat grind blade steel nitro v two inch blade 61 bones. Civivi has mastered the button lock. Super snappy. Crispy break of that detent. Oh, yeah. Clipper on your backpack. Go to town. Throw around your keys. Do what you want with it. I love that. I love that a lot. Another button lock. Loving Civivi's button locks lately. Again, no name. No name. Mystery knife. Oh, the, the noises, man. Tink. Tink. Oh, it's lovely. Very nice. Again, this is a compound ground drop point on this one. G10 stainless liners, the usual fare from a good Civivi knife. But yeah, killer ergos. That one's got a little girth to it. A little extra girth. Feels great in the hand. Killer action, again. Love. Jeez, they just could be... Bleh. More no-name knives. What's the handle? Ooh. Take your guess on that handle. Comments, what's the handle material? You have 10 seconds. Rich light is my guess. Shredded G10. Shredded G10. So you shred it and then put it back together? I guess so. I guess, I guess so. <laughs> He's like, I didn't do it myself. Crazy. Big swedge up here. Uh, flat ground. Super thin. Skeletonized internal liners per use. God, dude, the action on these is just. I don't know. We're kind of going back to the bigger knives, you know? Yeah. We, we and Svivi, we kind of made it right from the very beginning. All of our knives are the, the big hunkers. So the big going, chonks, dude. Going back to those roots, and we have some bigger knives coming out. God, that feels good. Again, no name on this one, but no 14C, around 54 bones. That's a lot of knife for 54 bucks. Jesus. Jesus. And you have the Centennial Strike with that warning. Yeah, okay, so what we have here is, yeah. So we've basically put a drop point on the Sentinel Strike, which I love, but compound ground drop point. Nice, thin. Nitro V. I do love the way they did the handles on the Sentinel Strike. One of my favorite Civivis from last year, yeah. overall. So. It's like an integral back. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, again, the acoustics. Civivis button locks don't miss. Oh, detents so crispy. Zero complaints. Zero complaints. 65 bucks. 
aluminum with the little G10 sandwich the holder thingy on the back <laughs> whatever we're calling it very sick good god we got a dagger the ks71 freaking folding bayonet oh lord what's that is this an in-house design or no robert sanis Kalchi? I, nailed it i, uh, <laughs> nailed it. I mean it live yet last night <laughs> like geez, uh, i'm sorry we're just gonna call him name. we're just gonna call him let's call him bob just, we're just gonna call him bob Robert. It's this guy. Here you go. Here you go. Comment section. It's that guy. Very nice. G10 Nitro V. 91 bucks. That is a very long one. Like this is choke back. You see? You seeing this? You seeing all this? Yeah, it's a handle. Got that faux dagger grind. Nice. Is that a hollow grind too? It is. Shoosh. Aggressive. Really heavily textured G10 scales. Actions money. <laughs> Always. And the pocket clip is different on this one, right? Holy crap, huge pocket clip. Massive pocket clip, pretty flat. Yeah, super flush. Tons of texturing and jimping all over the handles. Yeah, oh yeah. The tactical EDC. Very nice. What's that called again? The KS71. Sick. Oh yeah, I was eyeballing this one earlier. Oh yeah. The Star Flare. Oh yeah. First off, giant. We got this, what we like to call uh, lovingly the baloney nip pivot us uh, uh, area ridiculous but this blade clean classic hollow ground hollow grind flat grind flat, hollow grind flat, flat, flat. flat full flat warny oh yeah thumb studs oh yeah got that little pocketed button area right there <laughs> reverse flick so good oh and the acoustics that makes it that's ting ting oh that's problematic my wife's gonna love that one. She's gonna love that one. Flipping that around the house all day. Deep carry clip. Is this titanium? Aluminum. Aluminum, dude. Very nice. Aluminum like game. like bead blasted aluminum. Had me fooled. Aluminum nitro V. Seventy two bucks. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. This is like my show stealer so far. It's just so clean and fidgety and fun. Big fan. Star flare. Oh yeah. Don't miss that one, kids. No name, once again, a lot of uh, top secret, no name, hush hush kind of situations going on here at this VV booth. They're getting frisky. Another button lock. Kind of a, a just a big swedge on this one. Kind of looks like a spear. Hollow ground. Big fuller for some reason. Flipper only on this one. But again, absolutely, absolutely dialed. Absolutely dialed in. G10. We have the liner showing on this one. Kind of shadow boxing those scales. 68 bucks. Yeah, value for money around here, pal. Let me tell you. Love? Love? Is that a no name? Yeah, no name. We need a little guy. Is this like the Knox? The Knox, but liner lock. Liner lock Knox. So. so came out. It was a stainless steel frame, frame lock. lock. Yeah, the old one was a frame lock. But we have that beautiful hollow ground draw point. Dainty, a dainty little swedge. Beautiful belt satin. Nitro V on this. Great access to the liner. Flipper only, but just a killer, simple, light use EDC knife. It's okay, man. I'm just talking to myself. That's what I do for fun. Yeah, this is sick. I like the Knox a lot when it came out, but a liner lock version is sick. Very nice. Uh, $51. Hell yeah. A fixie. I'm going to injure myself. Ready? Told you. What do we got here? What do we got? What is this? The Altus. Oh, the Altus. So the Altus button lock came out, what, two years ago now? Yeah. Uh, so they turned it into a fixed blade. Very sick. Beautiful contoured wood scales. Very nice. Blade steals what? 14C? Oh, yeah. Dynamite budget, light duty, kind of fixy. Nice Kydex sheath. For all your Amazon packages. Oh, for all your Amazon, your hardcore Amazon unboxing experiences, baby. Very nice. Real tall flat grind. Scary. Okay. Love right it. Right into the sink cut. Sinkoots. Ah, we got a little wood guy, a little Chody Foster. Uh, Escalus with a, is that a hollow grind on a uber budget knife? 45 bones. Hollow ground. 9 CR18. Oh, yeah. A little Chode, Chode alert. Killer ergos. Feels good. Lightweight. Those polished stainless liners. Polished clip. That's a good looking knife. Nice swedge. What is this called? No name? The Escalus. I mean, it's the the thing about Sin Cut is you get the same build quality as you get throughout the whole line, Correct. but you know, twenty bucks cheaper. 
Yes, Very nice. Nine CR blade steel. Just nine CR is the only change. Which, as far as like budget stainless goes, nine CR is a great it's option. Fantastic. It's a, a fantastic option. Thirty-eight dollars on this one. G10 stainless liners, the usual fare. Again, kind of like a weird sheep's footy drop pointy hybrid blade shape going on on this one. But full size knife, huge finger choil, choke up, pinch grip all day, checks all the boxes. No name, mystery knife, mystery knife. We, we may never know. And finally. Kind of like a real fat reverse Tonto on this one. The Omni form. This is more my speed. Full flat ground. Again, 9 CR18 MOV. Flipper only. That's begging for thumb studs. She's begging for studs. But very, very sick. Detents cash money. Action's amazing. Access to the lock bar. Zero complaints. $39. $39. I spent more on, the, uh, more the, on dinner last night. Ridiculous. Oh, that's killer. Yeah, this is way more my speed. Beautiful. No name, Omniform. Sign me up. Sign me up. If you're in the market for a big chonky reverse Tonto, there you go. We got options. Can I, we got, you, I gotta see the piss when you, you know. We made it. That's all of the new rivals, but then I saw the, the PP dagger and I had to touch it. I had to touch the PP dagger. It's the same one, what's this called? The RS71, but in piss. Why not? Ultim is the way. Ultim. Ultim is the way. Look at that. Ridiculous. I just love being able to see through a knife, you know? Beautiful. It's a nice tint yellow, too. Yeah, yeah, right, you know? I'm here for it. I love yellow things. I do, too. As long as my piss doesn't actually look like that, I'll be okay, <laughs> dude. I'll be in the hospital if it does. But that is it. The Wee Civivi lineup, the new Blade Show Texas. I'm going to go take a nap now. Thank you. Kyle, my friend, love you, brother. Thank you so much. Bye bye so I finally found a Warney Elementum. We've been looking at it. You know, I wasn't in love with the initial release of the Elementum, but we've added thumb studs and we have a hollow ground Warney, finally. Shadow box scales, detents money. I got, I'm dealing with the floppy mess here, so forgive me. Forgive me. Yeah, and it's a great size. Focusing failed, leave me alone. Elementum Nitro V, 55 bucks. You know, not my go-to colorway on this. But this is the only one I've been able to see in their like massive lineup. I also was able to hunt down one of these, the Am I Right? Am I Right? This big ridiculous thing. Love, full flat grind cleaver I, in, uh, what do we got here? Nitro V on this one as well, $77. Yeah, that's a lot of knife. Huge finger choil, insanely satisfying. Yeah, I know I would love these, but I just wanted to play with them. And now I have. Very sick, they've just killed the button lock game. Yep, 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 okay. And obviously, we have all the piss. The piss conspirator, which is just, yeah, please, more thank you. And the praxis, and the praxis, and the praxis, and the conspirator again, but all good stuff. I was walking around and I found this, this, this guy called Beans Blades. I found this place called Beans Blades, and they've been really busy the whole show, so I finally caught them before they opened. And they are just releasing their first folder made by Rayot. And what is this called? Uh, it's Mini Warrior. The Mini Warrior yep. by Beans Blades. Made by Rayot. This ridiculous, aggressive, chiseled Tonto blade. What do you call the blade shape? The Bean Blade? Yeah, the Bean I, Blade. We're going to call it the, call the, tonto. the Tonto. It's aggressive <laughs> as can be. Thick, thick, full titanium frame lock, mill titanium clip. Just an absolute tank. But a, a stubby tank. It's like a chode, you know? A big, aggressive, tactical chode. I love this. Real toothy jimping back here. Feels good. Trigger pull, choke up. Yeah. Pinch grip it. Use that secondary tip right there. All day. Sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. Big fuller. You can reverse flick it if you want it bad enough. Sure. Yeah. These are awesome. Tons of different versions. Love the carbon fiber PVD. This is a prototype. Ooh. We have a proto as well. When I did, when I did the... Uh... In Damasteel, I'm assuming? Yeah. Jeez. I, if you come back by, uh, there's a guy that will be here. He has a, a dam he's got, I did a 15-piece run of Damasteel, which is a cutty scale, and then the blue hardware like this. And um, so <laughs> that was really, really cool, but I only did 15 pieces. Nice. So I put them in my group, and those went fast. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, gone, um, gone. But that, the only thing changing from, from the production to 
from the prototype to the production is the, the decorative the pivot. Yep. The pivot, and then I added just a hair jumping more. Nice. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm very impressed. And uh, can these be bought on your website? Uh, I don't have a web. Just uh, social media. Um, there's a uh, Blade Runner. Okay. And uh, Blades and Beams are distributors. Perfect. And also uh, here in Texas is. Um, uh, blade barn gotcha and or texas blade experience or gun experience whatever they call yeah, it yeah, yeah um so they picked us up uh and they have at their booth they also have us perfect so, perfect yeah okay. I, so this is going to be my second folder my second folder nice yeah that blade shape Dude, that scandy stud. grind is brutal yeah, yeah. yeah thumb stud and then a front flipper nice yeah. so but you're going to keep this this look yes yep and so you're going to be able to roll off that tip yep and then and then yes. thumb stuff. Hell yeah. So, very so nice. That. That'll be really nice. As far as far as that as is a fixed blade, if you're if you're just two finger gripping it, right. it's pushing in your palm every time. Right? Yep. If you reverse grip it, that thumb that thumb well goes right into your palm again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that feels nice. Yeah, Not in the thumb. That feels like so it. nice. And just like a normal EDC grip, that feels so good. It's like you took a piece of play-doh and mushed it in your yeah. hand, yeah. and that's how you design the handle. That's what I look for in Ergos. Beautiful, and that'll be a hit, dude. That, yeah. that particular one is, this is G10 that came from Toyota Racing Development. Nice! Yeah. So, <laughs> like, somebody yesterday was like, oh, you put a black liner, that's cool. I said, no, that's all yeah. Toyota colors yeah. from yeah. Toyota. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. So, we found <laughs> NCC knives. Pricey, but absolutely stunning. And this one grabbed my eye. What's this model called? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Love. Absolutely love this little thing. The step milling. On that blade, absolutely crazy anno job, actions absurd. Oh yeah, love the size too. Just my size, just my size. Incredible work, always. And we got the little guys, the little uh, the little push button autos. I love these little. Ch look at it, blam! Look at that little chode, man. Ready for business. Nice compound grind on it. Real tall. Relatively thin blade stock, nothing crazy. Aluminum? Yeah, 6661. Love that. Hits like a truck. I gotta, gotta be honest with you. Heavy spring and a tiny little knife. That's awesome. Love. And then this model? These are the Ragnarok V1s. Ragnaroks, yeah. And then this is the V2, which is similar to different blade shape. Yep. Nice little harpoon there. Again, that beautiful step milled grind. Love. The decorative pivot as well. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Action's unreal on all of these, of course. Big fan, big, big fan. She's so solid, she's solid as a rock. It's like you're made of stone. How do you do it? I don't know how to be angry, I'm bad at this. What's gonna happen? Oh, I'm sorry. I have no idea. You have no idea. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's getting close. Oh, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. She's too good. All right, I've come back to Microtech because you guys told me I had to check out the new no play crazy OTF. What's the, what's the model called? The Atreus. The Atreus? Yep. It's a, not a small knife, first off. Love this crazy textured inlay titanium, but still aluminum handles. Yeah. Yep, so this titanium inlay, titanium clip, the ball. It's a beautiful knife, this gorgeous dagger grind. Again, that texture carries through on the blade. Feels good in the hand. It's a really nice, solid knife, but I gotta tell you, you give it the shake, and there's nothing going on. Even when you close it, no noise, no rattle, and then opened up, <laughs> you guys, we're not kidding. It's solid. It's it's solid. It's frame lock solid. There's zero wiggle. There's no play. I don't know what you guys are up to here, Mike. It's also so smooth. That switch actuation is buttery smooth. What in the world? Now I just need it in a warning. I'll be a happy guy. Uh, yeah. You make it in a warning, okay. I'll buy one. Wow. Are, when are these coming to market? Uh, we should have some for Blade Show Atlanta. Blade Show Atlanta. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they whatever sauce they got going on in here, it's working. That's nuts. Okay, glad I came back. 
That's wild. I, I can't, I, it's hard, I can't show you on the video, but there's, it doesn't move at all. It's so crazy. Wild, what's it called again? The, the Atreus. All right, Microtech Atreus. Sometime later this year. Sick, thank you so much, yeah, man. man, appreciate it. So we got the hookup. They've sold out of the the yippers here from NAFs, but we found one in the wild. Yeah, tiny little knife, heavily textured G10, nice deep carry clip, thumb studs, Italian made. Love the blade shape, magna cut. Not sure about the heat treat. We'll find out, I guess, eventually, maybe. I don't know, probably not. But yeah, big fan. Like the, sh like the size, like the shape a lot. Clean, clean as a whistle. Definitely my favorite NAF so far. I gotta play with these. So we found, I totally forgot, we had to check out the minnow. We talked about this on the live stream a few times. <laughs> it's so funny, look at, look at that little thing. A little chode of a knife. Yeah. Nice and snappy, push button auto. And these are USA made, correct? Yep, yep, magna cut on the blade. And I love the bolster release, yep. Yeah, do it again for me. This one does the same thing, right? It's a tough, tough to one hand it. Yeah, you, you can, see? Yeah. Love, so cool. And then the one hand close is a little tricky, but a little practice, you'll figure it out. Really awesome stuff from CRKT this year. Looking forward to these. Are these available yet at retailers? March 14th. March 14th, there you go. Mark your calendars, kids. Those are awesome. Came to play with Leong's toys. He's gone. He was here a minute ago, and he vanished. We got the big daddy, the, the uh, three and a half inch, the big papa. We just got the EFD in for review. I love it. So the EFD is basically a budgetified version of that. There you go, you see? Simple. I like this, the DLC. <laughs> oh yeah. That's clean. Very good stuff, always good. Definitely worth every penny of 80 bucks on these. 80, 85, how much are these? 85 retail or 80 bucks? 85. 85 retail, yeah. Yeah, worth every penny. Awesome stuff, love it. So, concept, this is what's standing out to me. Tough Knives collab with Concept, the Odd 21, big chonky boy chonky chode of a knife, front flipper and a back flipper. Woo -hoo. Milled titanium clip, full tie frame lock. Front flipper works great. Heavy, dense little knife. Feels great in the hand. I like how aggressive that jimping is. Yeah, super toothy, super toothy jimping on the front flipper. Love Jeff's work. Makes a good noise too. Oh yeah, okay, all the speed holes in the universe. We of course have the Damascus version as well. Ooh, nice and smooth on those bearings. Love, very reminiscent of the old, uh, the old, um, the Catalyst, which has been discontinued for a while. That big, crazy saber grind on that drop point. Big, big fan of that. That is sick. So there you go. Then of course, I have a couple of these at home. The Tarkin, Matthew Christensen design. 
love. Going to be some changes in the future, some thumb discs added, but just a clean, excellent, thin EDC knife. Big fan. They got some crazy stuff. The Thoth. Greg Schaub. This is Sparrow Knives. We love Greg's work. And this is sick. Hollow grind. Kind of like this crazy Tonto situation going on. Oh, we have an inset lock or a liner lock. Oh, my gosh. That is sick. Little thumb ramp back here. Choke back. Finger choil. Choke up. Feels great. Pinch grip on her. Oh, you bet. All right, Greg. All right, concept. Yeah, that's sick. Beautiful. The bolster going on. So it's a bolster lock, not a liner lock. Full titanium bolster lock. Beautiful carbon fiber inlays. Okay, yeah. Follow up to the fin rear. That's so sick. The Thoth pumped about that. Of course, we have the little happy, the happy knife, the happy knife, the uh, the Loki. Little guy, surprised by how small that is, but it feels excellent in the hand. Kind of this beautiful diamond frag pattern, milled clip, titanium, frame lock, but does it work? It does, it works really well, okay. Whoop. Makes a killer noise. All right, beautiful little sheep's foot style blade on there. Very nice, works well. The link, very nice. Uh, Jonathan Shaw design, beautiful. Same guy that did the Artisan Boa, triple stripe knives. Excellent, big aggressive poon on this thing. That big Y, whoops, I messed it up. Top flipper, love this handle material as well. Thumb studs, sure. Great. Reverse flick. Money. Gorgeous. Full tie frame lock once again. 20 CV on this one. All right. All right, Johnny boy. Very, very nice. Another crazy Greg Schaub collab, the Baba Yaga. Look at that. Again, that kind of crazy pseudo Tonto situation going on with this one. Full tie frame lock. Thumb studs only. Oh, yeah. Kind of wacky looking, but, you know, not bad. <laughs> Feels great in the hand. Crazy Baba Yaga. Nuts. Concepts getting frisky at Blade Show Texas, per use. What else? What else? Gin design. That one's sick. The Havorn. I'm sure I'm saying that completely wrong. But there you go. Oh, front flipper, back flipper. Killer. Look at the way these... They're like little horns. See that little devil horns? Back flipper works great. Full flat grind. 20 CV on this one as well. That's 35 VN on this one. Sheer Gorov vibes. Yeah, very sheer Gorov vibes. Absolutely. Full size knife. Feels great in the hand. Sure. <laughs> kind of that polished stone wash. Big fan. Okay, I like that a lot. All right, I'm, I'm impressed. Then the uh, same designer as the Havorn, the Etches, I think. Eki, I don't know. Back flipper, front flipper, and flick and hole. Sure. Great looking knife. Wild uh, milled texture, milled pattern into that titanium handle. Titanium backspacer. Everything works. Whoops. Top flipper's a little funky. Sure. Makes a good noise. Very nice. All good stuff. All good stuff from Concept Knives. So Saturday's definitely the crazier day. It's the crazy. It's the crazier day. This place is packed. Absolutely slam jam. It's crazy. So we found superlative. I'll scoot over, I'll get out of these guys' way. So we have this guy, the Tyrant, which we played with a little bit yesterday. This wild, what do you call this blade shape? Tonto. Tonto, yeah, okay. It's like a Japanese kind of uh, inspired Tonto. Front flipper, decent sized knife, mill titanium clip. Really, really nice, beautiful belt satin. Who's making these, Rayot? Rayot, yep. Top flipper, really, really cool. Like a little folding samurai sword. CPM M4 on the blade, nice tall flat grind, on bearings, oh yeah, silky, silky smooth, and of course, the crazy fancy versions as well, a little splash of Timascus, love. We have the Nomad, this little guy, now, these are the same thing, just one without a blade? Correct. 
Look at that. This weighs nothing. This doesn't weigh anything. That's wild. Very cool. Little multi tool. Yeah, a little. Uh, yeah, a little uh, utility tool. We have the Comanche, which I we've seen pictures of, but I had no idea it was this big. Yeah. I didn't know it was a. I, that's a big knife. Quarter, quarter closed. Beautiful. Yeah. Reminds me. So I have a Raptor, uh, Pena, the Raptor, and I saw this. I was like, Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is big. And of course, we have that milling all the way through on both sides. Really nice, crispy half stop. Rayot made as well in this. Rayot made. Do they, they don't make a lot of slip joints, do they? They do for us. Yeah, they do for you guys, right. That is so cool, beautiful hollow grind. Again, CPM M4 on that. Yeah, oh yeah. That makes a good noise too with all that milling. Oh yeah. That is so, and just to give you an idea of size, I mean, choke back, got like an inch and a half clearance here. I don't have huge hands, but so cool. So, so cool, love that. Then we have the Matador, the big daddy. Look at that. Crazy micarta inlay. It's like textured, heavy stone wash, like almost like a bead blast finish on the titanium. Milled clip, that floating backspacer. Oh yeah, oh she closes. Thumb discs on this one, nice detent. That's a big boy too. Again, in pictures you don't realize how, how big all these knives are. They look like nice, you know, Pocket friendly EDCs. They're still pocket friendly. They're just way bigger than I expected. But all excellent, all really well made by Rayot. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. And then the Piranha, which I've, is the smallest thing on the table. <laughs> and it is this wacky. I'm so afraid to do it one handed. I know I'm going to hurt myself with it. I know for a fact. But that is so cool. This magnetic. I, I could just sit here and do this all day. I could literally just sit at my desk and do that all day long. That's way too much fun, dude. <laughs> way too cool. If I was more coordinated and less accident prone, I might give it a shot, but I'm not trying to bleed all over their table today. Very, very cool. Yeah, okay, that might, I might have to pick one of those up. And the V-Bolt pin as well, very cool pin. The little, uh, the little Hella fixed blade. Adorable little sheep's foot, little guy, little cutie. And then the Infidel, another slip joint. Again, crispy half stop. Love, nice micard inlays, full tie. Superlative blade steel, M4 across the board. I love seeing that steel used more. That one's fully ambidextrous, so it's got the nick on both sides. Nice, yeah, we have that yeah. big kind of steel fuller nick. Sides. Yeah, yeah. It is a mirror, mirror image on both sides there. Very, very cool. Clean, superlative knives. Loving everything you guys are putting out. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, okay, so. I'm gonna show it to you. We found, we found the Boker booth here at Blade Show Texas. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. So there is the one in your hand. And this and is. This is this one. And this one's. So this one is 199. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't too far off. 154. Okay, so I was asking about the Magna Cut Solingen Germany made. Uh, manual folders are coming out with this. This is the Burnley Quiken. Manual flipper button lock, made in Germany. It's $155, and we know Boker's best stuff comes out of Germany, obviously. It's where they're based. So I'm really excited to see them putting out modern folders out of their, their Solingen facilities. This is so gorgeous. MagnaCut, the handle material is what, G10, I'm assuming? Feels like G10. It's, yeah, I believe that's G10, yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very nice, super lightweight. Action's really nice, real snappy detent. Makes a good noise. Press that button. No button stick at all. And it's a classic. The, the Quiken's been around forever. Yeah, excellent. 100% for $155. There's a ton of value here. Very nice. And then they have a new, real slim, gentlemanly push button auto. $199. Again, Magna Cut on this one. And this one's uh, US made, it looks like. United States. Everything automatics have to be assembled. Yep, to you. gotcha, gotcha. And what this is, is what you have, is you have German technology coming here and yep. being assembled yep. here. Yep, absolutely. Now, probably it's a the, clean most, knife. the most uh, exciting thing that you're going to see is in the next 12 to 16 months, there's going to be a Boker-owned facility in the United States. Nice, States. that'll be awesome. First time that's doing manufacturing since. Really impressed with this. Very, very impressed. So that'll be good. German made, 155 bucks. No complaints here. Very good. So we made it to the Rayot booth. 
And this is the new PLX, the crazy integrated button lock pivot thing. Yeah, there's a lock. Super fidgety. And we have a safety lock as well, so it'll lock open or lock closed. That's so fun. I love, I love seeing new locks. And I have no, and at least I love, I've seen locks like this in the past, but they, you weren't able to tighten or adjust the pivot. It didn't have a screw, it didn't have the, the torch bit. But oh, this, yeah. you can actually adjust the pivot, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, action's amazing. And these are relatively affordable, right? Like what's the price on these? The price is, how much is this? The what new PLX? Uh, this price is, this one is 117. 117, yeah. I mean, insanely well, like really affordable, coming from Rayot. A little bit thick, but really nice. Really nice in the hand. Nice drop point blade and crazy fidgety. Beautiful stuff. The PLX from Rayot. Love it. Whoa. Love. Love, 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 love. Yeah. Matthew, well done, my friend. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. The Chevron. Big fan.